What's up, guys? Um, we're going to watch Critically Acclaimed versus Superhero News, who did a great job at their last match at the free for all. So I think that they'll, I think that it'll be a close match. Um, as much as I am annoyed by Critically Acclaimed, both of both Whitney and Bibiani, they, I hate their personalities. But they know their stuff. They know their stuff so well. So I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if they TKO Superhero News. But I wouldn't be surprised if Superhero News upset them because late to the party did, and it was wild. Thought my cat was eating my dog food. She's just drinking water. Um, I'm wondering. See, normally I feel like if a manager leaves. A team right before their match they'll be rattled going into it but when Ricky left Whitney and Bibiani in the pre-interview he's like no I'm done and I don't think they really cared they really didn't need him at all he was useless to them he really was all right let's get going because I got shit to do nice. ladies and gentlemen it's time for the movie trivia Introducing first, with a record of one win, no defeats, ladies and gentlemen, Sabina and Sean, Superhero News! There they are, they're coming out, oh, Sabina and Sean, I like this team. Watching some web, I, I like this team, sure. I was very impressed oh, with Infinity this War. Yeah. Yeah. I still need to and edit my review of that. Watching with both Ooh, share challenges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they're, they're, they're a good young team here. I, you know, you look at a team like this, and in my mind, they need like a, a manager, someone like Tom Dagnino to maybe no, guide them to know. No, never going to do it. Never no? going to do it. Never going to do it. They're too nice. They're nice, uh, they're nice people. Emma. I talked to them. They have morals. Or Emma. And their opponents. <laughs> Representing the Growling Commandos. Another With a name. record of one win, one defeat, Whitney, the beauty, Cyborg, and William, the beast, Bibiani, critically acclaimed. All right, this is the yeah, well, very nice today. Say now? I'll put on your 3D glasses. I don't, I don't have... I've got... Uh, where's my... I, I think I sold my 3D glasses. Oh, I see what oh, it is. Oh, 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 I... I it's right. making me nauseous, kind of like the Harry Potter ride. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. They're, they're Can going, you see it okay? I, I, I don't care. This is the. <laughs> 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 wow. They're, 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 oh wow! They're Did you throw there. a cookie or a there's Christmas? Bubbles. There's bubbles coming. Bubbles? Yeah, there's bubbles coming. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. This is, but uh, you know, they're, like they're never short on their entrance. I like it. Show them like it. I like it. Nice laughing with you. Yeah, it's it's nice to laugh. You know, I've, I've had bubbles fly up my face before at a chili cook-off. <laughs> it was a different kind of situation. No 3D glasses needed there. All right. Oh, they got the chairs all settled there. So We're ready. I wish you just weren't such a dick. All right, yeah. here we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So round number one is going to work like this. The competitors are going to get eight questions. All worth one point a piece. They're gonna have 15 seconds to answer the questions. Don't forget about your JTE rule. Don't forget about your challenge rule. And with that, critically acclaimed, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Superhero news, are you ready? Ready. Pumped. Then let's get ready to schmoo yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Question yeah. number one in the category of action adventure. Cyborg. Action adventure. <laughs> Who wrote the screenplay for Raiders of the Lost Ark? Mm. I wrote a sequel for it in the fourth grade. Oh. Yeah, it didn't get picked up. No? no. It should have been. Well, it could have been better than the fourth movie. Yeah, well. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. William. Philip Kaufman? No. Correct. Not. George Lucas. No. Correct. no. I forgot his name. Not George Lucas. No. Oh, <laughs> what? Lawrence Cass. Oh, 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 my gosh. The other guy. I guess put Spielberg. I don't really know screenwriters very well. Uh, second question comes in the category of don't family films. Family films. Question two. Who co-wrote and starred as the main human Gary in the 2011 reboot of The Muppets? 
I think you could be a Muppet. Uh, Muppets were very important to my life. I haven't seen this a, movie. A sequel, actually. Favorite Muppet. Fourth grade. I'm sorry, uh, favorite I can't Fozzie. find that out. Five. Fozzie Bear. Four. Three. That makes sense. Two. One. Pens down. Sean. Jason Siegel. That's correct. correct. Whitney. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. And, uh, Jason Siegel. Everyone Thank on you. the board there. All right, here we go. Right. Okay, so right. two, 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 two. All right, our next question comes in the realm of dramas. Name the actor who played hedge fund manager Michael Burry in the 2015 drama The Big Short. Didn't understand that movie because I don't have money. You, oh, come on. That movie, that's, that's exactly why you should have understood that. Oh, that's right there. Fine. I fell asleep like Three. eight different times during that movie. JT <laughs> name, name the actor who played hedge fund manager Michael Burry in the 2015 drama The Big Short. I don't remember who all was in that movie because uh, I fell asleep eight times. Four. But I heard it was like really good. One pens down. Critically Whitney. acclaimed. Steve Carell. Incorrect. Damn. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. Steve Carell? Christian Bale. That's correct. correct. Oh. The biggest Christian Bale. In the world. Oh, Sean, wasn't that? So both uh, Sean and William got it right, but we're still tied up here as we get to the next uh, question. And your fourth question out of eight comes in the category of '80s movies. '80s movies. Yeah. Who co-starred alongside Eddie Murphy in 48 Hours as Jack Cates? This is one of my all-time favorite 80s actions. Is that so? I love this movie. It's a good action one. It's, it's a, a good, good one. one. Five. Roxanne. Four. I don't know. Two. One. Pens down. And Sabina. I was born in 1990. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, uh, Nick Nolte. That's correct. correct. Sean. Best mugshot ever. <laughs> Nick Nolte. That's right. <laughs> Second best mugshot. Uh -huh. Nick okay, <laughs> because of that, critically acclaimed goes up by one point here. 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, we'll four. take it. 5-4. All right, next question here. All right, next question is fantasy sci-fi. What 2010's fantasy series starred Logan Lerman, Alexandra Daddario, and Brandon T. Jackson. You know, I forgot Alexander Daddario was yeah. in that movie. Did you see episode three like of True Detective more. season one? Are you, you are Tom Dyke, yeah. huh? Yeah, President Obama did too, yeah. <laughs> um. You got me today with that cook-off one and that one. Five, four, three, two, one. Bibs. Percy Jackson and the etc. That's fine. Uh, Sean. <laughs> I was Jackson. about to write yeah, Percy, Percy Jackson because I had no idea, so I was just going to guess. Seven, six. One point. What a match. Damn. What a match. I'm liking this match so far. All right. Question six comes in the category. I knew it. Comedies. Well, not really. Comedies. I was going to guess it. Who directed the 2003 comedy School of Rock? Oh, boy. It's not Shoes Beef Lewis. <laughs> no, I like his work, though. He's really good, yeah. that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he makes a good pastrami sandwich, too. Yeah, big coke hound. I don't know who directed it. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down, please. And we got Sean. I don't have it. Don't no. have it. Whitney. Richard Linklater. That's correct. correct. Sabina. John Avatar. Uh, <laughs> he might as well. Richard Linklater. Yeah, I just oh, put Jack Black because I don't know. I nine, six here. Was nine, this the Ant-Man and the Wasp director? Yeah. No, it was Peyton Reed. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. No, different no, nobody. Okay. All right, here we go. Next question is horror slash thriller. What 2015 movie stars Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall as a married couple that is met by Joel Edgerton, who is a former childhood friend? Mm. All right, this one down. That's right. Uncle Owen. Uncle yes. Owen, Joel Edgerton. There, you know? It's not a lot of stuff. Five, four. Haven't seen this since it was two, in theaters. One and Whitney. The Gift. Correct. Correct. Sabina. The Gift. There you go. The Gift. The gift. Yes, Sean. Worst gift ever. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, 11 8. Good Worst 11, gift eight. ever, yeah. Keep pace. Keep Three points. Pace. Last question here. Final question in the round. We have no perfect round, so this will be the final one. Category is animated. Animated. Who voices Regal Blue Tang Dory in both Finding Nemo and Finding oh, Dory? Come on. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on. Never. Uh, Speaking of uh, Royal Blue Tank, yeah. did I ever tell you the time that Tom and I went out to the boat? No? Okay. No, five. No one wants four, to hear that story, Ken. Three, two, one, Sabina. Ellen DeGeneres. Correct. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes, Sean. Ellen. Yes. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. That's right. Okay, so 13, 10. 13, 10. Now, okay. Very good round for both teams. Yeah. So, at the end of round one, I have... Three points. Almost had four, but only got three. And we're just getting better and better, guys. Because I started off getting zero points. And now, look at me. I'm at three. All right.
Let's do round two. Okay, so three points there, three point lead as we get to round number two. That is, uh, three points is very easy to come back from. We, we know that from the past, but it is the second round, and here is how it works. So the competitors will all now sit with each other. Uh, excuse me, the teams will sit with each other as we get to round number two. Six questions in round number two. They're going to spin the wheel. If it lands on a category they don't like, they can spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Um, and they will get... Six questions worth two points, unless you go to multiple choice, and it's worth one point. You can steal. All right, a wheel slice for today's match was sponsored by one of our Schmodown patrons on patreon.com slash Schmodown. The sponsored wheel slice for today's match is Modern Classics. Ken. Oh, modern Classics. Modern that is classics. going to be the, uh, the wheel slice for our patron. Okay. Critically acclaimed, you guys That's are a good one. Three. Would you like to go first or second? Let's go first. Let's go first. All right, so All right. somebody will go to go the gonna, He's already standing. He's ready to he's go. He's standing. He's ready. Yeah. yeah. All right. No whammies. No whammies. Oh, I love whammies. Ah. That was a good show. <clears throat> Press your luck. One of my favorite game shows. Three of the playing. Up by three here. Come looking on, to get it. themselves a two and one to get back in the title it's picture a good here. Good spin there. And get that modern spin. Spin was definitely in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. yeah, uh -oh. uh -oh. It's uh -oh. coming around. Oh, Could be a hole. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. We can do Tim Burton. We like Tim Burton. All right. They are going to go with Tim Burton movies. You got Tim Burton. All right, so here we go, guys. You're going to get six questions in a realm of Tim Burton. Remember, you can steal from your opponents in this round. All right, here we go. Question one. In Mars Attacks, talk show host Natalie Lake has her head transported onto what kind of dog by the Martians? Chihuahua. Two points. Oh, I don't have to write anything down. Um, I was going to say Great Dane. It's quite the opposite. Who played the sinister chim chimpanzee military commander General Fade in 2001's oh, Planet of the Apes? I don't know. Tim Roth. Two points. That's correct. Two more. Yeah. Okay. Question three. In The Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally is created by Halloween Town's resident scientist that goes by what name? Dr. Finkelstein! Three, uh, two points. Two, oh my gosh. Four. Question four. Dr. Finkelstein to the front of the line. Question. I almost what is the, what is totally the forgot that. that was Corpse Bride in Corpse Bride? Emily. Her name is Emily, I believe. Multiple choice. Is it A, Rose, B, Elizabeth, C, Helen, D. Emily. You sure? Okay. Elizabeth. That's incorrect. incorrect. Can we hear the choices again? You can hear the choices, yes. A. Rose. B. Elizabeth. C. Helen. D. Emily. D. Emily? One point. That's yeah. One point steal. Yeah. Big steal there. Okay. Woo. Big steal. Fifth right. question. Question five. Question five. What British actor voiced the Cheshire Cat in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland? Stephen Fry. Two points. That's correct. Yeah, I don't points. know. Okay, last question here, guys. Last question. What comedic actor provides the voice for Edward Frankenstein, Victor's father, in 2012's Frankenweenie? Mm. Martin Short. Two points. Two. So 23-11. That's a big round. That was there. all right. Whitney. No all more right. naysay. All right. all right. Here we go. So now Superhero <laughs> News needs to have a big round here. Because they didn't they have many live action Tim right Burton now, questions there. Time to spin, guys. Go ahead and nice spin game. the wheel. Sure. I'm going to so All right, spin. so spin. They, they are looking for comic book movies. You know that they need comic book movies here. Yep. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Right, spin there you go. Spins in. Spin is in. And can pass. Oh, what could it be? All right. Don't want Something that. Oh, it's choice. It's coming Disney. on to Disney films. Disney that's films. That's what they spun last time. That's you. The, you did it last time. Worked for us last time, but your call. Sounds like it. You're not. Sitting, you're not looking confident. <laughs> yeah, Let's go with that's it. That's a good call yeah, by Sean. I think She's so not too. confident yeah. there. Well, because they did. They did okay last time. They're yeah. Not great. They, they're, look, they need. I need to pause because like, I, I need to go take my dog out. And I'm not convinced. Against oh, myself, I don't do it. You don't, oh, you don't push oh, yourself. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we are looking at Brad, Brad Pitt. All right, let's do it. All right, Brad Pitt. Uh, Brad Pitt let's movies. They need, Brad, they need right. Brad Pitt to help it, them it out. Is here. The Fitting that I'll be asking the Brad Pitt questions. <laughs> here we go. He's now 53 years of age, I believe. That's All right. right. Okay, question one. You're going to get six. Brad Pitt plays brother to Craig Sheffer in Montana. <clears throat> In what 1992 film? Five. No, Fight Club. Legends of the Fall. It's That's incorrect. correct. It's, it's incorrect. Oh, yep. Incorrect. Nope. You're right. Oh, it's incorrect. What? Oh, it's incorrect. 
Oh, then it's yep. a river runs through it. That's yeah, yeah, right. two points. I thought you said it was correct. No, 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 I looked okay. at the wrong okay. highlighted word. My apologies. Okay, so that is a huge steal there. That puts them All in desperate, right. desperate need here. Second question. Brad Pitt plays dim-witted personal trainer Chad Feldheimer in what comedy? Fight Club. I don't know. Burn After Reading. That's correct. One of my favorite Coen brothers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't seen Number any of these Brad Pitt movies. In Meet Joe Black. I haven't even seen Fight Club. Susan Parrish. The young woman who falls in love with Joe Black. Julia Roberts. Multiple choice. All right. A, Julia Ormond. B, Claire Forlani. C, Jessica Biel. D, Minnie Driver. Jessica Biel. Five, four, three. Claire Forlani. That's One correct. Point. Oh boy, I would have also accepted the Phantom Menace trailer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's and the only thing I there. remember from yeah. Meet Joe Black. Uh, four, the fourth question coming in. Uh, who played the driver of the tank, Gordo, in David Ayer's Fury? Michael Pena. That's correct for two points. Big, big one there. Fifth question. Yep. Fifth question. Who played Brad Pitt's love interest in 1993's California? Cameron Diaz. I have no idea. Juliette Lewis? That two points. Two that points. was All right, she got it. She got it. Okay. All right, all right. Final question in this round. What was Brad Pitt's character's name in True Romance? Edward. I have no Multiple idea. Multiple choice. A, Lucas, B, Flint, C, Floyd, D, Flint. Purple. <laughs> Five, four. Floyd? One That's point for a point. Wow. So they got yeah. them. That, that was a big round for them because, they again, not, not something maybe they were super comfortable with, but they, they fought through it. And they're only down now by six know, points. Like now, so, yeah. that is still is that's a, a big deficit to be against this team in the third round. But they got themselves out of knockout category. Absolutely. That is key. And there were some good answers in there. I, I'm telling you, this is a team that knows their stuff. It's just about they the They need questions. to answer all their questions. All right. So here we go, guys. We're going to go into round number three. And it works like this. The competitors are going to have three need... numbers between 1 to 20 to choose from. First one's worth two points. Critically Second acclaimed to miss three points. The third at one's least worth five points. Two? Very critically acclaimed, you guys are up. So please pick three numbers from one to 20. Uh, Whitney, I suck at this, so all you right. pick all three. Uh, four, <laughs> four, 15, and three. Four, 15, and four, three. Four, 15, and three. And pick superhero one. news. 13. Yes. One. One. Five. 13, one, and 13, five. 13, one, and five. But, you know, Bibiani's cracking jokes, but he's not wrong. The third round has not been nice. Screw <laughs> you, Christian. It has not been nice to both Bibiani and critically acclaimed, but yeah. we're going to see if him. that changes here. Him. All right, so here we go. Superhero News is up first, and they're going to start with Category 13. Category 13 is Denzel Washington. Who would like to be <laughs> taking the two? Who's taking the two-pointer? I can do it. Go ahead. Okay, right, I'll take Sean's it. Gonna take he two. was waiting Sean, for him to say I points. can do it. In what biographical drama did Denzel Washington portray boxer Reuben Carter, who was wrongly imprisoned for murder? Hurricane. There you go. Let for, me for tell you about the uh, It was the hurricane. <laughs> did you want to challenge that? No. No. Uh, okay. He's All just right. teasing. All right, so now Sabina is going to get category number one. It's Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. She just keeps giggling. She's so funny. All right. Tom Cruise. Who played Barry Seal's CIA contact Schaefer in 2017's American Made? Leave Schreiber? <laughs> the answer was Donald Gleason. Oh. Right. Donald Gleason. All right, so now. General Hugs. So General we, Hugs. We've come down to this for superhero news. If I they hit it. In 2016, he was in every movie. If they hit it, it bounces back to Critically Acclaimed. But if they miss, Critically Acclaimed will win via TKO. That'd be nice. And here we go. <laughs> we can do that. So category is number five. That's coming of age. Coming of age. Here we go, guys. Coming of age. You can, you can confirm this one. Okay. Cool. Coming of age. Five pointer. Why was Claire in detention in the Breakfast Club? Mm. Five, four, 
three. Her dress was inappropriate or something. Can you repeat the question? There you go. Nice use of the JT rule. Why was Claire in detention in the Breakfast Club? They have one left. I don't know. Five. <laughs> Either four, she was late. Three, two. Let's one. hear the question one more time. <laughs> All right. Last one. Yes. We're holding Last out, y'all. Why was Claire in detention in the Breakfast Club? Five. Four. Was it for smoking? And your oh, yes. winner! <laughs> smoking is all for you! Technical knockout! <laughs> Whitney and William! Whitney and William! The answer, the answer was she did school to go shopping. She did school to go shopping. Mm. That's right. So we've got... Okay. Really clean. All right. So... If I were critically acclaimed, I would have had 10 points. And if I were superhero news, I would have had 9 points. So, not too bad, but could be better. Um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything much to say about this match. I kind of expected all of that to happen. Uh, I figured a critically acclaimed would win, but I figured that it would be a good match. Mm, yeah. So I'm going to watch the pre the post-game interviews, so make sure you check out the link in the description for the full match. And check out all of Collider's really cool stuff. They've, they, excuse me, they've got a whole uh, playlist of Infinity War videos. So if you've seen Infinity War, go watch that whole playlist. It's so, it's so fun to watch people talk about this movie because I love this movie. All right. Uh, bye, guys. Have a great day.